Welcome to Only Connect, the quiz where general knowledge meets lateral thinking. They get to like each other and live happily ever after. Until general knowledge has an affair, which of course lateral thinking can easily work out, and it all ends in bitter divorce. In the meantime, let's play the game, which is all about making connections between disparate elements and clues that might appear at first glance to have nothing in common. We've got two excellent teams tonight to act as marriage brokers, and actually they're both teams of Scrabble players from Edinburgh and from Solent. Let's meet the captain of the Edinburgh Scrabblers. I'm Alan Sinclair. I'm a civil servant from Edinburgh, and this is Melanie. I'm Melanie Beaumont. I, too, am from Edinburgh, and I work as a Spanish interpreter. And this is Simon. My name is Simon Gillam. I'm also from Edinburgh, and I work as a statistician for the Forestry Commission. And you're all members of a Scrabble club? We're all members of Edinburgh Scrabble Club, yes. Does Edinburgh Scrabble Club use a different language to other Scrabble Clubs? No, in Scotland we use exactly the same uh, language as uh, in the whole of Britain. You allow Americanisms? Yes. I think admit. it's a pity. I think it's a shame. They shouldn't be allowed in. They're not real words. Let's meet the Solent Scrabblers and their captain. I'm Elizabeth Jardine from Bournemouth. I'm a retired teacher. And this is Penny. I'm Penny Downer. I'm an ex-teacher from Cowes on the Isle of Wight and I've played Scrabble in the World Scrabble Championships. And this is Noel. I'm Noel Turner and I'm what Vicky would call a boffin, which is a radar design engineer. I'm also from the Isle of Wight. And I understand that some of you have played Scrabble with some of this uh, Edinburgh team. Yes, I've, I've played Simon. I remember distinctly playing him in 1994 and just failing to beat him when I had to take the last word off the board. And I played the word rawl against him, as in rawl plug, and it doesn't exist. The word rawl doesn't exist? No. <laughs> Any other word would have done. <laughs> Any normal, everyday word would have beaten him. But no. What a depressing story. <laughs> <laughs> but never mind who's better at Scrabble, who's better at general knowledge and lateral thinking? That's what will decide which of these teams goes through to the quarterfinals. Let's get started with round one. Teams, I'm going to be giving you four clues, if you need all four, and I want to know what's the connection between them. If you can tell me after seeing just one clue, you get five points. If you see two clues, you get three points. Two points if you see three clues, and if you see all four clues, just one point. But if you guess incorrectly or you don't get it in the time available, I'll throw it over for a possible bonus point. Edinburgh team will go first. If you look down, you'll see a board of Greek letters. I'd like you to pick one, and behind it will be your clues. Uh, beta. OK. Your first clue is going to come up. Shout next if you want another one. And your time starts now. Next. Something to do with toilets? <laughs> <laughs> That's too obvious. That's too, no, obvious. That's too obvious. What else could it be? Bowl, cistern. Oh. Cistern. I mean, bowl has got lots of connections, but not cistern. I can't see it. Next. 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 I, think, um, I can't think of cistern in any context. No, no. Is there a fourth one? Ten seconds Next. left. Are they ships of some kind? Or? Three seconds. No. I'm afraid your time is up, so I'm going to throw it over to Solent for a possible bonus point. They all contain the name of a bird. Yes, as any self-respecting Scrabble player would notice immediately, the names of birds are hidden within all those words. Owl, Turn, Rook and Eagle. So that's one bonus point to you, Solent, and now you select your own Greek letter. Epsilon, please. Epsilon, first clue is coming up. Your time starts now. Time type of fruit, citrus fruit. Oh, my darling. Next. Next. Poison berry. Presumably, there are fruits that all have been named after a person, I suspect. It yeah. looks like some sort of poison oh, yeah. person and green, and could be someone called Clementine, the yes. which the Clementine. Should we have the last one? Yeah. Next. Well, obviously, yes. the same yes. thing then. Yeah. So, fruits or. Yeah, or like vegetables have all been named after a person. Ten seconds. They've all been named after a person. 
Can you be any more All fruits, fruits that have been named after a person. Technically, they are all named after somebody who was instrumental in their development. In the case of the Clementine, oh, the Boysen Brie and the Cox's Orange Pippin, after the Cultivator, the Green Gage, yes, after the William Gage, who course. brought them to England. <laughs> I know that's what you meant. So you may have one point for getting that after four clues. And we're going to go back to Edinburgh to pick a letter. Alpha, please. Alpha, first clue coming up. Time starts now. Yeah, yes. yeah. Yeah. Next. That's something to do with print. He was a printer. I'm pretty sure he was a printer. I don't know about Jan Hus, but Tyndale, what about the Bible? Was Tyndale's Bible? Um, yeah. Jan Hus, I don't know. Shall we go for it next? I think I should go yeah. for the next. Next. It's Cran Cranmer. He was just a burned at the state, wasn't he? Um, something to do with the church as well. You're under 10 yeah. seconds. Next. Yeah, burned at the stake. Yeah. They were all burned at the stake. Sinister though it is, the answer is that they were all burned at the stake. That is indeed the answer. So one point to you, and we're going back to Solent to pick a letter. We have Gamma, please. You may have Gamma. First clue coming up, and this is going to be a picture round. Your time starts now. What is that? Next. What is that? Mushrooms. Chinese writing for some reason. Mm, Chinese mushrooms. Next. Who's that? Oh, Ooh, that's Frankie Pompey. Yeah, that's Pompey. Yeah, that's Pompey. Roman coins. It, you think the Romans invented mushrooms? Roman, uh, some sort of Roman. Roman they do look like Roman coins. coins in the first one. Yeah. Could we have the last one? I think we'd better. Next. Did the Romans invent skiing? <laughs> 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 Maybe they did. I, I would believe they might have put shoes on to help them in there. Three seconds. The Romans. The Romans is not the answer I'm looking for. Just remind me, Romans and skiing <laughs> connection. Italy. It's a nice try, but I can't accept it. So, Edinburgh, do you want to have a go? Yeah. That's not Pompeii. Yeah. I don't know what type of mushrooms they are. No. I can't give you a long time to discuss it. No, I'm sorry, I don't think we're going to get it. Now, what if I were to tell you that in those pictures you are looking at not just any old Roman coins, but denarii, oh, shiitake mushrooms, up Pompeii and skiing... Double eye. Kind of double eye. Double eye. There, well, now, oh, no. now you know. <laughs> they've all got double eyes in them, but it's too late, no points. Edinburgh, would you like to choose a letter? Uh, Delta, please. Delta, first clue coming up. Time starts now. <sighs> Could be anything. Yeah. Next. Raised from the dead. Is that, that's all we know about. Next. Scone. Stone. The stone of Scone. Yes. Ah. Oh, um, did, he, did he sleep on the stone or something? Um, don't know anything about George. Petra. No, do you, do you want another one? Yes. Uh, next. <sighs> Means nothing to me, I'm afraid, that one. Uh, you want to Yes. Um, do you want to Stone. Stone. Just remind me about Biblio <laughs> and, and stone. Uh, we don't know what the Biblio connection is. Let me go over to Solent. It's the raising of Lazarus and you raise the, the, the dough will rise. To I can't leave Lazarus you all night to raised. think about it. Raised. Or rise, raised. Yes, and again, Biblio, raised. remind me. We don't know, no, I'm afraid. That's because Biblio is a fictional Oxford college invented by Thomas Hardy in Jude the Obscure. In fact, they are all fictional Oxford colleges. Jordan in Philip Pullman's His Dark Materials, Lazarus in Barchester Towers, Anthony Trollope's Scone or Scone in Decline and Fall by Evelyn Waugh, Biblio, Jude the Obscure, Thomas Hardy, fictional Oxford colleges. Solent. Well, shall we have Zeta? Why not? Why not have it? And this is going to be a music question. Good luck. Your time starts now. Yeah, I've got it. Next. You know that one? What is it? Tell us what it is. In the April evening. Right. Next. That's early in the morning then, so yes. that's morning. Right. So you've got evening the and morning. Of, the times of day. day. Shall we yes. go for it? Yes, you yes. could do. Yes, yes, go for it, yeah. They're all times of day, all in the April evening and morning. Had you not buzzed in, you would have heard High Noon by Dimitri Chomkin and Sunny Afternoon by The Kinks. I'm sorry you buzzed in then, because I, I love that track. <laughs> but you are correct, and you got it after just two clues, so three points to you. 
Well at the end of that round, therefore, the Edinburgh Scrabblers are on one point. The Solent Scrabblers are on five points. Let's move on to round two. Now, in round two, it isn't enough just to know the connection. The teams have got to work out what's fourth in the sequence. So this time, you can see a maximum of three clues, five points if you can tell me after one of them, three points if you see two clues, two points if you see three clues, but you have to tell me what comes fourth. So, Edinburgh Scrabblers, if you look at your Greek letters and pick one. Alpha. OK, so what will come up is the first in a sequence of four clues, and I want to know what's fourth. Your time starts now. Could be anything. Could be anything. Next. Uh, coronations, possibly, because... Oh, that's good. Because seventh came, yeah, there's no that's one, good. George V. So we want... Uh, Edward VIII wasn't crowned, so we want George VI, and then Elizabeth, which was 1953. Was it the coronation was 53, she coronation was 52. 52. Yeah, okay, so we're going uh, to... Let's just check, so that's George V, George VI. Yeah, I think go for it, okay. go for it, 53. 10 seconds. 1953. Why would it be 1953? The coronation of Edward VII and then George V. Then we'd, we'd have had George... Edward VIII wasn't crowned, so it, George VI would be third and Elizabeth II would be the fourth one. You've even thrown in the background fact that Edward VIII was abdicated before he could be crowned. That is correct. 1937, of course, would have been the coronation of George VI and 1953, coronation of our own dear Queen. So three points to you for getting it after two clues. And over to Solent to choose a letter. Beta, please. Beta, first clue in the sequence coming up. This is going to be a picture round. Your time starts now. That's a horse. Good Club names. Could be the um, white horse on the down. Mm -hmm. oh, brown. Ah, brown horse. <laughs> <laughs> horse. Uh, oh my goodness. It's white a special chestnut. sequence. Let's next. Name, so. A black, black horse. White horse. I'm sorry, I have no idea. White horse. Riding these horses. horses. Maybe someone has ridden all the same horses. What about uh, the Palomino? Or yes. What's the dapple grey or something? Um, is it piebald? Piebald. Ten seconds. Just don't forget to buzz in a moment and guess. Piebald bale chestnut. Yeah, Five seconds. Yeah. Yes. Piebald. And why do you expect to see a piebald? Because you've got a white, a bay <laughs> and a chestnut, and oh, no. the fourth one would be a piebald. When you say the fourth one, <laughs> it, by whose logic? <laughs> My logic. I'm afraid that's not good enough here. I'm going to have to throw it over to Edinburgh for a possible bonus point. Unless it's alphabetical. Could the first one be an Arab and a bay? No, no, you're no, miles away. No. No. no, you're on the right track when you said who's riding these horses. I'll tell you who's riding them. It's our old friends, the four horsemen of the apocalypse. So fourth, you would have expected to see a pale horse. Ugh, nasty. Edinburgh, it's your turn again. Please pick a letter. Delta. Delta, first in the sequence coming up. What's fourth? Time starts now. <laughs> so I meant to be a binary number. And next. Right, so that's one, and then in binary, that's eight. So it could be... It could be multiplying by eight, it could be... So, so see, see cubes, what? cube, cube numbers. So, one, two, yeah, it could be three cubed is 27, and yeah. four cubed is 64. Yeah. Um, Which would be what in binary? That's um, one, zero, 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 zero. Ten seconds. We'll go for that. Uh, Five seconds. Yep. Uh, one, zero, 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 zero. Why would you expect to see that there? It's the binary representation of 64, which is the fourth cube number. Interesting. You've given me the correct answer after two clues, so you're going to get three points. Next in the sequence would have been zero, one, zero, zero, one. You're right, one, zero, 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 but it's the binary representation of 16, not 64. It's the first four square numbers, one, four, nine, 16. The answer you gave was of correct. Of course, it's four. Logic, <laughs> yep. In GCSE, you'd have lost marks for your working, but you still get the points here. So, Solent, pick a letter, please. Epsilon, please. Epsilon, first in the sequence is coming up. Time starts now. Oh, it's those things. Yes. Next. Five centuries and something to... What could that be? Five? Two. Two. To name two noons in a day. Oh, I don't know. Five. Mm. Something's in a decade. We need a next, I think. Yeah. Next. 
two and a half D in, in a cube. In a quarter, two and a half D, two and a half D. I have no idea. Well, come on, what is a Q? That's going to be the... Quarter. Um, a quart. Um, quart. 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 Five seconds. That's the last one. Oh, no, no, we've got to find the last one. Three seconds. No, we don't know. Can't see it. And your no, time's up, Edinburgh. Nope. Do you want to have a go? Four Q and a G. <laughs> Why would it be that? <laughs> Four quarts and a gallon, but we, don't, we can't think what the others are. Have you been to America much? I know, Penny, you went to... Um, uh, Went to compete oh, in some Scrabble in Championships in America. Yeah, Spent so in much water. money while you were there? Not a lot, no, I didn't have time. No, I was playing Scrabble. And you would have noticed there are five cents <laughs> in a nickel, two nickels in a dime, yeah. two and a half dimes in a quarter, and four quarters yeah. in a dollar. dollar. Oh. So no points there. Edinburgh. Zeta, please. Zeta, first in the sequence coming up. And your time starts now. The <sighs> lady lived in the shoe. Yeah, I think we need another one. Next. Sure, you can chew on ours. Um, doesn't no, any doesn't. ideas? Do you, you've got another, no, another no. clue? No. Next. I'm afraid there, nothing's Ten coming seconds. to me at all. I was thinking of Monopoly pieces, but it's not yeah, that. Sure. Five seconds. I don't know. Mm, it's no, no, this is you've like... been timed out. Solent. Battle. Why would it be? For want of a nail, the shoe was lost. For want of the shoe, the horse was lost. For want of the horse, the rider was lost. For want of the rider, the battle was lost. If that wasn't the right answer, it would look lunatic on the television. It wouldn't. <laughs> but it is the right answer. So a bonus point for you. Congratulations. And now you get to choose your own letter. And again, the choice, I would say, is not unlimited. Gamma, I think. It seems the one to go for. First in a sequence coming up, what's fourth? Time starts now. Sun, moon and stars. Okay. Next. Next. Were they the ice spy books or something like that? Oh, was well, it the order um, that when things were created? Well, lady, oh, yeah, well, ladybird books, even. Ladybird books. Go for Have another one. Next. It's something to do with things no, being created I, I think in the it's Bible, isn't it? Bible, isn't it? So, um, in the first so well, Concluded and animals and, and man, man we've had. So the next is only be woman. I Ten think seconds. You hit the button if you're going down that or road. Because you haven't got much time. Yes. Or what about um, to resting? No, on the seventh day he rested. Yeah. Okay, go with that. What woman? Can I have an answer, please? Rested. No, because we've got woman comes before that. No, I'm sorry, I can't again. accept that. I must move over to Edinburgh. Uh, woman. By what logic? It's um, the creation uh, on the first four days. You would think that it would take God a whole day to make a woman, but no, it didn't. Those are the fourth, fifth and sixth days of creation, mm. and on the seventh day God created nothing, uh... he rested. So at the end of round two, the Edinburgh Scrabblers have got seven points and the Solent Scrabblers have got six points. The next challenge for our teams is the connecting wall. There are ten points available and I'll tell you how to get them. When you've chosen a connecting wall, it's going to reveal 16 clues that I want you to sort into four groups of four. But some clues come into more than one category, so be careful. There are red herrings swimming in this particular sea, but only one perfect solution, only one correct four by four. You get a point for each group you identify, and at the end of the round I'll give you bonus points if you can tell me the connections. So first you need to decide if you'd like wall alpha or beta. I think we'll take alpha. Alpha. OK, you're going to get two and a half minutes when it comes up. Good luck. Your time starts now. Mont Blanc. There are cocktails here. Yes. Yeah. Screwdriver, yeah. sidecar, Manhattan. And Sp I'm not sure what else. Um, this is a cocktail. Gimlet. Margarita's and Kim so Gimlet's a Gimlet. cocktail. Shall we try? Uh, Manhattan's a cocktail. Sidecar and screwdriver. And screwdriver's a cocktail. Um, Shall we try four of those? Shall we try? I think Manhattan's more likely to go in something else. No, no. OK, That's so let's group. have... Take the Manhattan. Like, leave out the Manhattan. Two minutes have... left. Nope. Uh, is Gibson right. there? Uh, Mel Gibson, Mel Brooks, Mel Gibson, Mel Brooks, Mel Smith, and Mel, Mel B. Mel B. Mel B. Brilliant. No, no, no. brilliant. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, Mel Blanc. Mel Blanc. Over there. Mel Blanc. Brooks Gibson. B. No. It's not a group. Blanc. Brooks. Could be and Smith, maybe. That's it. That work, right? Screwdriver. Back side to the um, cocktails then. Screwdriver, sidecar, margarita, and what? That's, uh, oh, blow. Let's That's try a... margarita, gimlet. Have we done Manhattan, Manhattan screwdriver? screwdriver? Well, no. there are actually tools here. So the there screwdriver is probably the wrong one. Leave That's the screwdriver out. Halfway through the time. That's gimlet. And hammer. a wrench. There's a wrench and a hammer. Oh. Should we try a hammer? Don't hammer. Yeah. Hammer. No. A wrench. wrench. Gimlet. Gimlet. And screwdriver. That's the right. right. OK. Right. So back to now the cocktails. Now, with two groups left, you only have three Side attempts car. available. Car, Manhattan, mm -hmm. Margarita Careful and where you what? jab. Don't put the first fourth one right, in. What's select. the rest of this lot? Um, let's have a look. Suit. Monkey Gibson. puzzle, monkey nuts. Monkey, monkey suit. suit. Monkey business. Let's give some. Yeah. 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 It's stopped. Well done. So you get four points for the four groups. Bonus yeah. points available now if you can tell me the connections. Looking at the first group, Blank Brooks B. Smith. They're all Mel. Famous Mel's. Mel Blank, of course, the voice of Bugs Bunny. Next group, Screwdriver. They're all Gimlet Wrench. They're all Tools. Household Tools. Sidecar Manhattan Gibson Margarita. They're all Cocktails. They are indeed. And the last group, Puzzle Business Nuts Suit. They're all Monkey. You can put Monkey in front of all of them. So four extra points for the connections, plus a bonus two for getting it all right. You've scored a maximum of ten points. How are the Edinburgh Scrabblers going to compete with that? They're going to get a fresh connecting wall. 16 new clues for you guys have to be sorted into four groups of four. A point for each group. Another point later if you can tell me the connections. But beware the false trails. Some of the clues will fall into more than one category. But there's only one correct solution. No choice available for you. You'll be getting the beta wall. The clues will be coming up and your two and a half minutes start now. About that lot. Uh, Reichenbacher Falls. Falls. Yeah. Uh, Horseshoe Falls. Victoria Angel Falls. Falls. Yeah. An Angel Falls. Victoria. Mm -hmm. Reichenbacher. Yeah. Horseshoe. You? Yeah. No. no. That's okay. not a group. Uh, okay. What else have we got? Um, other falls. Um, um, I don't see any other pound falls. Of poets. We've got a pound, we've got a pope, we've got Spencer. Uh, who oh. else do we have? Well, we've got Marlowe, Marlo. but he was a Playwright, wouldn't he? Mm, right. Not a group. Um, Is it ham Hammer Falls? Are they a fall? No. Um, Maybe not. Angel, Victoria, and Reichenbach are definitely falls. Doesn't mean anything to me. Horse. But Reichenbach could be something. Oh, oh, might be did, did we try horse? Was it horse? We did try horse. No, that's what we tried before. That's what uh, we tried. Victoria, Angel. Um, Minute and a half remaining. And what do you know? Well, we've got authors. We've got okay. Lawrence, Pope, Holmes, Marlowe, um, Spencer, and Pound, of course, are all Pound authors. Pound is poet. P P Pound we've got poet. cakes, marble cake, fairy cake, uh, 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 um, yeah. Victoria cake, Angel Victoria cake. Victoria sponge, right. Victoria sponge. I'll try. Do cake. What was the other one? Somebody? Fairy. And marble. Ah. Not a good one. Pound cake. Pound cake is a cake. OK. Pound. Pound, marble, angel and fairy. Let's try Maybe that. time to start jabbing indiscriminately now <laughs> to try and find a group. Uh, without, <laughs> without angel, pound, marble, fairy and... Victoria, Victoria. Sponge. Nope. No. No. Madel a Madeline is a cake. cake. Oh, yes. Madeline is a cake. cake. A fairy, fairy cake, cake. And an angel cake. Angel Pound cake. cake. Oh, Not a group. Madeline, fairy, marble, and angel. That's ah. a group. Right. Thirty seconds remaining. Quick, let's do the falls. Yes. All right. Okay. Oh no, let's do whatever. Right. Reichenbach, horseshoe. Uh, well, angel is out now. Victoria. Victoria. So it must and be the, the, the Lawrence fall. or the hammer. Lawrence, Lawrence River for hammer. Uh, oh, I'll just try something. Right, OK, it's not that. That's not a group. That, that, that. Ten seconds. Um, hammer? Hammer falls. No, no, the hammer falls. Not a group. <laughs> I'm afraid you're out of time. Oh. Well, not that brilliant, but you have got one group, so I'll give you a point for that, and I'll give you another point if you can tell me what connects Angel, Fairy, Marble and Madeline. Cakes. cakes. They're all cakes. Let's now resolve the connecting wall. 
There we go. There are still points available for telling me the connections. What about that green group, Spencer, Lawrence, Pope, Pound? They're all authors. Poets. Uh, yeah. They're yeah. all poets. D.H. Lawrence, yeah. an execrable novelist, also wrote poetry. More's the pity. And the next group, Queen, Marlowe, Hammer, Holmes. Doesn't mean anything to me. Doesn't mean anything to me. The Too detectives long. there, um, Sherlock Holmes, ah, Philip Marlowe, yeah. Ellery Queen yeah. and uh, Mike Hammer. Hammer. Yeah. Good detective work of your own. In the nick of time, <laughs> they are all detectives. And the last group, Victoria, Churchill, mm -hmm. Horseshoe, wow. Reichenbach. They, they must the be falls. The falls. They are all waterfalls and Reichenbach Falls is where Sherlock Holmes was supposed to have yes, died. Yeah, yeah. So, one point for the group you identified and four bonus points for the connections. You finish with a total of five points. Let's see how that leaves the overall scores at the end of round three. The Edinburgh Scrabblers are on 12 points, but the Solent Scrabblers are on 16 points. It's all change in the scores, but it could be all change again because it's now crucial round four. A lot of points available here, teams. I'm going to give the teams a series of names or phrases in connected groups of four, and this time I'll tell you up front what the connections are. You have to tell me what the names and phrases are. Why would this be difficult? Because, as you'll see demonstrated here with the phrase only connect, we have removed the vowels and respaced the consonants. So the teams have to decipher what those phrases are. Scrabblers, you should all be good at this. Fingers on buzzers, there'll be one point for each name or phrase you correctly identify. But if you get it wrong or hesitate unduly, I'll throw it over to the other team for a bonus. The clock's about to start, and I can tell you the first group of four are all Shakespearean opening lines. Edinburgh. When shall we three meet again? Correct, one point. Solent. If music be the food of love, play on. Correct, one point. Edinburgh. How is the winter of our discontent? Correct, one point. You don't know this one, I'm going to tell you from Midsummer Night's Dream now, Fair Hippolyta, our nuptial hour. The next group are meteorological terms. Solent. Air pollution. Correct, one point. You're taking too long, Edinburgh. Isotherm. Correct, one point. Edinburgh. Atmospheric pressure. It is, one point. Edinburgh. Moisture. Again, one point. The next group, Caribbean Islands. Solent. Antigua. It is, one point. Solent. Puerto Rico. Correct, one point. Edinburgh. Aruba. It is, one point to you. Edinburgh. Haiti. Yes, one point. The new group, Latin legal phrases. Edinburgh. Caveat emptor. Correct, one point. Edinburgh. In loco parentis. Indeed, one point. Edinburgh. Persona non grata. Yes, one point. The time is up. What a dramatic round. Looking at those scores, the Solent Scrabblers finish on 20 points, but the Edinburgh Scrabblers have got 22 points. Amazing recovery in round four. So we'll be seeing you again in the quarterfinals and we hope that you will join us next time when two more teams will seek to bring some kind of order and symmetry to collections of clues that appear to have minds of their own. Until then, goodbye. And there's more from Victoria and Only Connect next Monday at half past eight. Next tonight, heading east for the story of maths.